Hey, I'm Jacqueline and welcome to In The Know. This is our weekly video show designed to keep you up to date on the most exciting innovations across the QuickBooks ecosystem. Today, we're diving into the world of payments. We heard that QuickBooks online customers want to send a single email reminder to payers for their open balance. Instead of having to send one email per unpaid balance, which adds up to multiple emails. Thanks to your feedback, you can now send a single email reminder for all open invoice balances owed to you by a given payer. And now for the fast facts. This feature is available to QuickBooks online users with payment options. To access it, visit the sales tab, head to customer, then click the dropdown to send a reminder. It's available as of May, 2024 globally. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified. All right, let me introduce you to Amr, who is the talented product manager behind this exciting update. Amr, welcome. Thank you, Jacqueline, so much for having me. And I'm super, super excited to hop right on with payment reminders. Today, when I send the email reminder, I'm sending 10 different invoices with their email reminders, and my customer is getting 10 different emails. So we heard of that, we know this is a problem. And so what we did was that we, we now allow you to consolidate all of these open balance for a given customer with a single email. If you just click on the sales tab in the left navigation, so just locate the sales tab, then here you'll see customers. So just go ahead and click on the customers. Then here you'll be able to see all of the open balance for any of your given customers. So let's go ahead and select this one customer with about 341,000 open balance, right? This is quite a lot. We'll hit that drop down, send reminder, and boom, this is a completely new experience. Um, you'll notice two things. On the left side, it's something very familiar to sending an invoice, email, subject, to, from, all of that. But on the right side, now you'll see that the, the entire open balance for a given customer, it's right there, along with all of the invoices that they can pay directly. This is a brand new experience, at least on the reminder end, and that's one of the access points to find it. Let me quickly show you the next access point. So there's two ways. We know our, our, our customers also uh, do this from the individual customer detail page, right? So I can click on the customer. And then once I click on that individual customer, I can hit up all the way up to that new transaction button. And once I click that, I see something called send group to reminder, right? And, and once I click on that, this is also gonna send you to that same experience for that customer. So again, two different access points, making it very simple for you. And then you might also be wondering, well, what does the payer see? Because this is really important, right? Uh, from the payer side. So the payer, what they do is they get an email uh, of that preview that you just saw, and they can individually pay each of the invoices, again, from a singular place. So if they click on an invoice, they get to this page um, where, where they can type in their credit card information. And let's see, we'll go down and they can just pay. And once they hit pay now, it, it, it will be complete. And that was the payment reminders experience. Uh, thank you so much, Jacqueline. This has been amazing. We're super excited to launch this out to everyone. And um, yeah, until next time. Amr, thank you so much for being on the show. We'll turn now to pro advisors Nayo Carter Gray and Kenji Kuramoto for them to weigh in. Kenji, Nayo, thank you so much for being with us on the show and for joining us on this episode of In the Know, where we've been discussing payment reminders. So Nayo, let me start with you. How does this new update help your clients collect their receivables faster? First off, thanks for having me. I'm super excited to be here. This new feature is awesome. Like we never really knew we needed it until it got released. Uh, so, you know, I'm one of those people who encourages my clients to make sure you're collecting on your accounts receivable, but every once in a while there will be an invoice or two that falls through the cracks. Now with this new feature, clients will be able to send multiple invoices and in one reminder, which I think is super helpful um, just for um, transparency sake, because say a client does absolutely forget to pay an invoice. They went on vacation, you know, it might be graduation season, they're out of the office. And then that next invoice creeps up on them. This way you, you know, my clients can let their clients know like, hey, you owe us money. And it's a gentle reminder. It doesn't feel very intrusive. It's just kind of like, here they are outlined one place with a total. 
chef's kiss. So thank you engineers for introducing this feature. Again, didn't really know we needed it until I saw it and was like, man, this is gonna be awesome. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Kenji, we know, okay, cash flow is the lifeblood of any small business. I know that at Cutie, you do a lot of um, cash flow advisory and forecasting. So how can something like this feature actually lend itself to talking to clients about their cash flow a little bit more holistically? Yeah, and we do a lot of advisory work around cash flow. Now, I'll give an example, um, especially when you think about services businesses, but it can expand to other businesses too is if you want to try to get cash in the door faster, you know, sometimes you can do the work quicker or you can um, try to ship something quicker, but oftentimes it means invoicing quicker too. And if you're going to invoice quicker, that means invoicing more often. Sometimes we used to work with clients who are like, well, we aggregate all of our time till the end of the month and then we send out a bill. We go and usually recommend, let's try to increase you know, the frequency of when we invoice. Let's try to move to where we invoice each week. And so they, they usually go, oh, that's a great idea because we can get cash in faster. However, it creates more invoices. And so instead of maybe you'd send out a monthly invoice, now you've got weekly invoices. So it's a little easier for their customers to sometimes either miss an invoice or things like that. This now, the payment reminders feature really helps. So when we're advising to say, hey, let's invoice a little more often, um, and maybe create more invoices, a kind of a, a batch action tool like or payment reminders where you can do them collectively is super useful and super helpful for those who are trying to get cash flow in the door a lot quicker. Now, Niall, if we take the accountant's point of view from yourself, I've heard from you in past conversations actually having, when clients have steadier cash flow, that can help with the month end reconciliation process. Could you expand on that? So when in ca my clients are happy, they're smaller businesses. So when they see that money in the bank, you know, first thing they think is that, hey, we can spend it. Um, so if they're invoicing their clients more frequently and they're getting that money in the door, they're happy campers because now they have some cash on hand that they can do whatever they need to do with it. Um, and we like to plan around, around those cycles so that they're thinking about not just, oh, I have cash in the door, I can spend it, but also how can we best utilize this cash? When we're sending out invoices, can we encourage those behaviors where we're asking our clients to put to pay on a recurring basis? So maybe we don't have to send out an invoice or an invoice reminder. Uh, we can also think about things like maybe offering a discount if they pay sooner rather than later, right? Um, but this all takes some getting used to, especially when your business is kind of just starting out and you're just so excited that you have paying customers. Sometimes these things fall through the cracks. So I love to use them as opportunities, if, especially if we're starting to see like, hey, this particular customer of yours owes you a lot of money. Maybe time to like scale back what you're doing or having a conversation with them about, you know, how can we mm -hmm. help you, but you help us by paying us on time, right? <laughs> 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 Makes so much sense. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, oftentimes I think we as accountants think about when transaction volumes increase, we kind of go, oh, yuck, like that's going to get more complicated, it could get more expensive, more time consuming. And the challenge is oftentimes more transaction volume means more success for the client. Things are maybe going better. They got more invoices going out, right? More dollars to collect. And we're thinking in terms of like, Yikes, that could be more work for us as accountants. And so I like it when there's a process or a tool that aligns us better with when clients are being successful. It's no longer kind of like, oh, great, they're sending out way more invoices. It should be like, great, you're sending out more invoices. And it's no big deal whether it's, this, you know, it's, it's five or 50 because tools we have will be able to, we are enabled to allow us to help on things like collections and payment reminders irregardless of how many invoices have been generated by the client. So I, I like tools like that, that again, kind of align us a little bit better with our clients and their success. Well, Nayo, Kenji, thank you so much for being on the show and just for having some fun with us and for sharing all of your rich point of view. Absolutely love having you here and hope to catch you next time. Thank you for having us. Thank Thanks, you. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> and thank you for watching this episode. I'm Jacqueline, the host of In The Know and leader of ProAdvisor training and certification. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.